Welcome back, IP2. Today we will continue talking about keyboard. Okay, so、uh, this is our lesson number four, and welcome back. Let's start. Words to remember. All right. So the word of today would be keyboard. I hope you already remember it from our pre previous classes. So, what was keyboard? Keyboard was a panel of keys that operate a computer or a typewriter. All right, let's get into it more. Let's talk more about keyboard. So, this is your keyboard. It has many different buttons. You can see here, right? Here, this is a button. This is a button. This is a button. All these are many buttons. These are called keys. So it had your keyboard has many keys or many buttons. You can see the alphabet on your keyboard. You can see the alphabet on your keyboard right here, right? A. B, C, D, and so on. You can see all the alphabet that you need on here. You can use it to write and type. So if you need to write some English word, you just all you need to do is use your keyboard and your fingers to type, and you will get a writing on. Your screen, so you use your keyboard to write or type. Alphabet keys. Now let's talk more about the alphabet on your keyboard. The keys on your keyboard. Keys with alphabet are called alphabet keys. Keys with alphabet are called alphabet keys. So this is your alphabet keys. The pink one is all your alphabet keys. You can see right here. You got everything you need. Next, we are talking about the number keys. So what are the number keys? Can you guess? Do you have any guess that what are the number keys? The number keys are so. If you said are numbers, you said it correct. Number keys are the keys that have numbers. So the keys that have numbers are called number keys. You can see it right on the top here. We have some numbers: one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. So we have one, nine, one to nine, and then zero right on the top. But that's not the only keys that have numbers on them. We have another key,、uh, pad that is on the right of your keyboard, right here. You can see we have numbers here. Also, we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have our numbers here too. However, not all keyboard、uh, keyboards have this. Just、uh, the bigger keyboards have this one. However, for sure your keyboard will have this one. But if you have a big key keyboard, you will have this one as well. All right, let's move on. Next, we are talking about the function keys. Let's see. Function keys are used for different functions in different programs. These are your function keys right on the top: F one, F two, F three, F four, F five, F six. 
F7, F8, F9, and F10, and F11, and F12. So this top row, it's all the function keys. Function keys have different functions. Function means like do different things. What they do is different. So it depends where you use them. So in each program, they might have different thing to do, different work, different job to do. Let's continue. Another special key is spacebar. Spacebar. Can you say it with me? Spacebar. All right. What does a spacebar do? It gives space between the words. So, very simple. A space bar gives space between the words. So, if you have two words very close to each other and you uh, hit the space bar, you will get a bit more space. One more time, you press it, you get more space. One more time, you get more space. This is your space bar. So, by clicking your space bar, you will get more space between your words. Okay. Let's move on. Next page, we have our enter key. So what does the enter key do? Do you have any guesses? Do you know what the enter key do? The enter key can move to the next line. So when you are typing, and you press the enter key it jumps to the next line it moves to the next line or if you're using a website or you use you are using Google if you click enter it enters your doc, uh, your information the thing that you type it will enter it will approve it will enter this is your enter uh, key. All right. So, take a look on your keyboard. Does your enter looks the same? Does it look the same? Is it L shape, or is it just I? Or what type of shape is it? What color is it? Is it black? Is it white? What color is your keyboard? You can take a look. I'll give you a moment. Take, check your keyboard. What color is it? What shape is it? Is it the same? Is it the same position? Or is it there? Is it here? Is it other side? Which area is your enter key on your keyboard? You found it? Alright. Let's move on to the next slide. Next slide. We have caps lock so what is caps lock do you have any guesses try to guess what do you think caps lock do let's see if you got it right caps lock basically uh, makes your letters uppercase so what does that mean it means your letters will be big so if you type in a you will have a big A. If you t but if you press it again, if you press, this is your caps lock. So if you press it one time, you, if you start typing, everything going to be big. For example, if you start typing Apple, it will type uh, the whole word. The whole word will be big, like. A, big A, big P, big P, and then big L, and then big E. Apple. So it will be all in big letters, in uppercase letters. But if you type A, and after you press caps lock, you press A, it will be big A, right? After you press P, it will be big P but if after pressing the first P you press uh, caps lock again 
so it turns off your caps lock so your next P is going to be small your L is going to be small your E going to be small alright so it's going to look like this a big E a big A big P and and then after you press your caps lock again you turn it off so it's going to be small one it's going to be small one right but if you turn it on again you can type big all right let's move on next special key is the delete key oh sorry before we move on let's all right so the delete key can you find where is the delete key on your keyboard right it should be around here it should be around here all right so what does your delete key do your delete key erases your typing or erases your files so if you select any file on your desktop and you press the delete key it will delete them all so be careful when you use the delete key it might delete all the files that you have selected all right so when you use this one you should be very careful maybe you will delete everything all right let's move on to the next slide next we have backspace do you have any guesses what the backspace does backspace erases backspace erases your typing it erases your typing can you find backspace on your keyboard backspace is right here on top of enter it's on top of enter all right so if you press it if you type something for example you type apple and you press backspace it will delete what you have typed so it's similar to the backspace next key we have shift can you say it with me shift all right shift shift key let's talk about shift key what does the shift key do the shift key if you press and hold press and hold with your finger you press it and hold it once you start typing you will type in big letters all right but if you let it go if you stop to hold it you don't touch shift anymore and you start typing it will type small again all right so it's very similar to your uh, it's very similar to your caps lock which in caps lock in caps lock uh, by pressing only one time you turn your caps lock on and after that everything you type it will be in big letters but for shift you have to hold your shift bar or your shift key you have to hold your shift key all right so uh, when you hold your shift key and you start typing everything's going to be big but once you let it go it's going to be small again all right next we have the arrow keys the arrow keys so what does the arrow keys do do you know do you have any guesses let's see it helps you to move and control what's going on on your screen so if you play a game or if you uh, are typing or anything it can help you to control uh, what's going on on your page for example if you're typing by clicking the arrow keys it can go up 
down and left or right next we are talking about your homework your new homework so I will post this in our e-learning platform so please go to this link it is a new worksheet for you from uh, lesson number three and four so which you have to do so do the worksheet and practice and use uh, use your keyboard key, keyboard for uh, use your keyboard more all right so practice on your keyboard more so what you have learned try try to practicing try to type try to use your keyboard and understand well, which is what all right so don't forget your homework this is your homework uh, for for 15 of July on Thursday so in one week 15 of July on Thursday so please don't forget upload it uh, you don't need to upload you just go to the link and answer all the questions It's multiple choice answer all the questions and hit the submit button and I'll get your information so don't forget please write down your uh, nickname and your Patai ID number that's all for today thank you everyone have a good week and um, enjoy your day see you later hopefully soon bye bye